Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Passion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Passion. First of all, I would like to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there if you haven't been there already. And also please do follow me on Twitter. And I have Tumblr. And also I have Pinterest. So today I'm going to share my idea of how I make spicy bitter melon so it says spicy bitter melon with onion ginger garlic and I'm going to make it little bit sour tasty with amchur powder which is dry mango powder so let's begin with putting just a little bit of oil about a teaspoon And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of asaphodia and some cumin seed. And I make sure that my cumin seed is roasted properly. So to that I'm going to add one onion, five, six cloves of garlic and one inch thick ginger. Now I'm going to cook this one about five minutes until this is completely brown but not burnt. As you see, my onion, ginger, garlic is sauteing for 5 minutes now and they are brown. To this, I am going to be adding this bitter melon. These bitter melons are cut lengthwise, so there are about 5 bitter melons there. Now the bitter melons are really good for you and eating bitter melons is really good for your health. So even though it tastes bitter, but it's really good for you, so we should eat this more. And uh, also when you cook it really nicely, it doesn't taste that much bitter. You have to add to it little tomatoes or the amchur powder, which is dry mango powder. Uh, this one is add at the very end, about one to two teaspoons to enhance the taste, so you don't feel that much bitter taste. Now, I'm going to cook this one 10 to 15 minutes until they're properly cooked. Now, bitter melon, there's many different ways you can cook it. You can deep fry it and you can cook it, make, make a spicy one, or you can make curry, or you can take out everything from inside the bitter melon and do a bitter melon stuffing which i will do one time and show you how to do that one so for me the best one i like is spicy bitter melon because i usually try to use only one to two teaspoon of oil mm, and the fried bitter melon is really does not work for me because i don't want to be fried and this one really tastes so so to this one i'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt so this has about five bitter melons and a little bit turmeric going to use the roasted ginger powder i mean roasted cumin powder this one i've been using a lot lately and it's really good for digestion and makes the food taste really great this is a little bit garam masala powder and this one is chana masala. Later you can adjust it according to your taste. Now the amchur powder I added at the end. Now at this point you can chop up finely a tomato and add to it. But uh, since I'm going to use the amchur powder at the end, so I don't need to add the tomato. Now to this you will just sprinkle a little bit water.
Just a little bit of water you take and just sprinkle. And that way it's not going to get too dry and it's not going to get stick at the bottom of the pan. And we're going to cook it like that. I'm going to cover it and cook it for 10 minutes in low heat. And after that I will check it. And if it's done, then I'm going to make the heat high and cook 2-3 minutes in high heat. Once it is done, I'll turn off the heat and then I will add my amchu powder. So that way I retain all the sour sweet combination taste and um, it will make the bitter melon taste really nice so i don't want to burn the amchur powder when the cooking process is done i will add it at the very end so as you see our spicy bitter melon is ready and now i'm going to add to it two teaspoon of dry mango powder and at this time you can check it to make sure your spices are okay if you want to add more chili powder or any kind of spices but this dry mango powder is going to give it a real sour taste so to balance the bitter taste. Now just mix it well. And as it is done, it took about 30 minutes to cook it in low heat because I didn't want to fry them, I just wanted to cook them in low heat. Now I'm going to put in a plate and give you a picture of it. You see our spicy bitter melon is ready and it's really yummy you can eat this with hot brown rice or white rice and you can even eat it with bread it's really yummy and spicy and you won't feel the bitter taste at all and this is really healthy for you thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share the video and i'll be seeing you with many 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 more other videos thank you bye bye